Once you insert your image into your evidence document, you may realize that it's in a position where you don't want. It doesn't look good or it's splitting the text and it makes the document confusing. So there are two things that you can do. First, you want to click on it and this gives you the blue border around the image and places to resize the image. So I always resize using a corner box because then it will change the size proportionally. Nothing gets stretched. If you use one of the boxes in the middle of a side, it will stretch your picture and the picture will be distorted. So stay away from that in this situation. Click on the edge corner piece and then resize that way. So your picture is still intact. Now you can see that the text is still kind of um, warped. So the second thing that we do, and again, we get to this option by clicking on the image, is selecting one of these text and image options. So it always comes in under in line. So that means your picture is going to take up a space in line. You don't have the options of moving it around. Um, it's just kind of fixed there. I like wrap text. When you click on it, you can see immediately that the text started to wrap around the image. But what that option allows you to do is now to click on the image and move it. So unlike in line, when I tried to click on the image and move it, I couldn't, I can with wrap text. So what I like to do is move it to a location where it looks good and then adjust the text around it. So in this case, I added some blank lines in order to separate the first activity, choose one video with the second one, earn a badge map tools. And again, I could resize this and put this right underneath if I choose to do that. That formatting part is up to you, but those are the tools that you can use to organize your evidence